Hi everybody, Bill McCabe, welcoming you once again back to the Iron Crane Dojo. And uh, we're going to focus uh, on a little bit of a continuation of some of our self-defense ideas that we spoke about in threads in the past, and we're just going to go to the next place uh, in, in that continuity. Uh, one of the things that's, that's really prevalent as far as, as a uh, self-defense controlling necessity is when somebody comes up to you from behind and is grabbing you uh, from behind. And today we're going to look at a one-hand grab from behind at about the collar level, you know, just trying to isolate it to a single spot so we can explore some possible responses to that. That's actually a pretty common type of domination uh, move uh, when people try to intimidate you on the street for whatever reason or they might have a decoy person to your front who's getting your attention and the second person comes up from the rear and grabs your collar from behind and just tries to work you into a neck lock or some sort of a hold or tries to hit you while that's going on. So you need to have some really quick and effective responses to that. To that end, let's sort of see what we can come up with uh, making up as we go along. So helping us out today is Sensei Chris Antos. And uh, let's have the camera angle over here, if you will. <clears throat> so uh, let, let's say the attack is, is uh, a right hand grab to my collar at the rear. Now, just sort of show the angle of that. The first thing you need to be aware of is that there's an open door here for a quick response. Now, if the camera is back here, uh, if I turn counterclockwise, immediately in on the attacker, okay? Immediately in, elbow, hand, hand. And you can see the setup on this brings me into a position where I can take the attacker down. Now when somebody grabs you with one hand to the rear, almost always their other hand's gonna be coming in. They're gonna grab and hit or grab and try to control you. So as soon as he grabs, I begin to move. And the other hand starts to come in, I can beat it, or even if I don't beat it, if I get caught on it, I'm still okay. I have my follow-up, so it's even trapped and it still works okay, but you have to do this with commitment. Uh, I want to show you the follow-up to that too, there's several follow-ups. He grabs the same grab. Uh, this time I'm just going to turn about and hit with the right hand and capture with the left hand. I hit, and bring the camera back here if you will. See the balance break there? If you look at my feet, my feet are basically stationary position. I'm just anchored to the ground. This move is so powerful because I'm shifting his balance in two different directions. And you see the little bit of a pressure point assist here and I can drive that through. I've also got the elbow strike if I need it to drive it to the ground. Now if I really want to amp that up, I step with it. And if I really want to amp it up, I trap his position leg. Now you can see the arc of his body. If I really fire this one, his head hits the ground first. So it's a really uh, devastating uh, consequence to him as a result of his attack. So everything that you do in self-defense, of course, is moderated and commiserate with the situation you're in. If you're defending your life, you have to defend it in a robust fashion. If all you're trying to do is control a drunk or a friend, you do it in a moderated uh, fashion. <clears throat> okay, now, same move. He's grabbing uh, from the right side. I turn about to quick hits under the armpit. Okay, this is not nearly as uh, robustly devastating as the other one, but it's definitely a controlling technique. See, I, I go in, and you can see the kind of power it has in terms of being able to move his weight and his body quickly away from me. Comes in, same move, a little bit more robustly, done as a knuckle strike. Either way top hand or bottom hand. He grabs and uh, uh, I turn about. This is a J hand. See the J hand going into the same spot? And it could be a right or a left hand. Or it could be a right hand here, J hand up to the throat or neck. Okay. Uh, he comes in. I can check over the top. Same thing as before, take down. grabs uh, uh, right hand, uh, 
uh, using your safety control arm over the top, clear hit. Beauty of this, of course, as well is in that position, I've got control of the head. The sandwich. We call that a sandwich. My old, my old friend Roy Kaufroth and his son Russ Kaufroth, Master Russ Kaufroth, refer to techniques like that as sandwich techniques, and you can sort of see why. I'll show you that once again. He comes in over the top, snap, and there's the sandwich. Two slices of bread. One, two, or one, two, or hit. <clears throat> uh, you have the swing around moves too. So he attaches, I can swing around, get inside, hit, hit. Bring him down, strike. You see the, the trap on the arm, drive him down, or go for the arm. Answer. I'm going to show you the setup on that. This is a straight setup without me striking anything. I, uh, what I do is I dip under the pressure. We talk about dipping techniques to control the power of somebody attaching to you. See, I'm dipping under the power, carving against uh, attacks from the other side, and then I've got my freedom to execute as quickly as I can. It's only a momentary type of freedom. Any type of self-defense techniques have to be acted upon quickly. As soon as the opportunity presents, you have to act. Okay, so he grabs. This time I'm slapping to assist. One, two, three. See the tilt down, break down all his balance? See, I get under his arm. There's the balance break here. J hand from this side. Come around. The quick strike down would be right here. You can see it. Or the quick strike down, club hand. Or the quick strike down. See that they uh, side of the knuckles into the TMJ joint. All those are variations of the same concept. Thank you, sir. <coughs> he grabs, I come to this side, sir, if you will. Issue with Saison caught has a few nice uh, moves in here that are just apropos. You step in and hit. So he's coming with the left hand, you step in, hit. See the, the tie-up that we have here? And take down. Okay. Uh, same thing, issue new technique, turn about, hit. If the other hand comes in, you cover it and you go in. I want to show you that in slow. Hit, you strike here, you strike it to the joint, you strike to the TMJ, you can also strike low, then high, or high, then low, and this hand is in reserve for anything else that you may need it for. Now every time you hit, let's say he wants to kick me with his left foot. See, when I'm hitting him, he's off balance. And that's one of the things you have to remember. I was just saying hi to a police officer out there. <clears throat> if you were wondering what I was waving to. Uh, when somebody grabs you, and if, if they're, they're thinking of grabbing and hitting, and you check the hit, and then they follow up with the kick, see, the kick's not going to work if they're off balance. Uh, and the fact that they do try to kick you, if you have sensitivity to balance, you could do what I do with sense of Chris a second ago. You drive him completely off balance to where he crumbles, okay? Hopefully crumbles. So if, if I was grabbing him and with, with the right hand and he turned about on me, maybe hit. Okay, now I'm gonna knee him here, right? So all he does is he drives through him and you can see the impact on the balance. See, a lot of people forget that. They assume that you can kick all the time, but you, but you have to be balanced to kick. And you have to have a strong center line to kick effectively, or a slight forward tilt that goes in with your kick. It doesn't take a lot to weaken that center balance, or weaken that center line, or to knock it off a few degrees either way. And when you do that, the kick is essentially neutralized but it, it takes a long time to develop that ability, meaning like several years of thinking about it. But it is something you can develop within yourself. <clears throat> okay, uh, uh, he grabs right side again. I want to show you this. This is two soft hand techniques. Turn, soft hand. You see the power of that? A lot of people underestimate the power of the soft. A lot of people will turn and always be thinking, I have to punch this guy. 
punches generally stop on the surface. They, they don't go through the attacker. But you have a soft hand technique. One, you can see how it impacts his whole body. The second one is the soft hand up above. And you, he has experienced these before, so you can see how he's trying to avoid them. Uh, but you need to develop that ability within yourself. Soft hand, soft hand. Now we talked about the soft hand techniques in other self-defense videos, and you can find those. They're very important, especially in situations like this. He grabs, there's the off-angle strikes. See, off-angle, low-high. High in front, low in back. Take a look in back. See, I'm creating a platform with his lower spine that's breaking his balance. So when I break his balance and go high, you see his whole body's tilting with me. Okay? Breaking his balance with my hand on his back. Uh, he grabs the right hand again. Another balance break is into the head. Now this you have to be very cautious with, so we only practice it in a, in a symbolic, metaphorical fashion. Because the neck, of course, is very sensitive, but it controls the cervical spine. But you use that in an actual life and death self-defense situation. You can see how clean that is. You hit, and you're right in position. Now here I can take the person back. You see the corkscrew on his body? The power of that. Now watch my left hand. The final balance break is right here. See it? And I'm not letting him go to the ground out of curse, but he's right at the verge. <coughs> A uh, couple other ones real quick, if you grasp with the left side. This is the rollabout. I hit, bang, bang, capture, over the top. This is an arm trap. You see what I'm doing with them? It brings them right into my knee. And then, of course, I could, I could take the arm out after that and drive them over to the ground. So another look at that. What I have to be on guard for here is the right hand coming in. As soon as he, if I do it as soon as he grabs, I can cross over and cross over. <coughs> By the way, this is, this is the effective leveraging technique here that really amps up the arm. A lot of people try to do it one-handed. Unless you're very skilled or a master, it's not nearly as effective as increasing the energy. Okay? That's what, what I'm doing looks like if you look at it closely. Again, the setup on that, because I'm worried about the right hand coming in, is I drive hit. Okay, and that just gives me a possible delay, but say he right hands before I can get through. You see, I cross over, and I'm back to another move. Back to another take down. See, everything, everything ties together. So you do this in slow motion, and it's like learning a ballet, like a dance, that becomes part of your overall movement. Another sequence. Uh, I go underneath, hit, follow the hit through. You see the takeoff with my head sets up an arm bar. Anytime you have an arm bar, you can reverse it. You can do a center takedown with it, or you can roll the person the other way. And that's a, that all works off the same sequence, but if you look at the other videos, you see how these things thread together. They become uh, like a language, you know, with each of these moves portraying a letter or a, a set of sounds in a language, and you're constructing your own vocabulary. Again, he uh, grabs to the left side, I go underneath, hit, and there's the, the wipe off. Do it with my hands, yeah. If I didn't use my hand, head and shoulder would take it off. I go here, behind. to a finishing move. <clears throat> I think that's a good overview. I mean, we've got <laughs> probably about 30 techniques here, you know. There's other ones, and I, I could probably think of other ones that talk, for, you know, for a few minutes more about this. But I, I'm trying to give you alternative concepts to the obvious ones or the traditional ones that you're being exposed to. These are things that I've evolved after years of research and practice. That, that may be unique perspectives on the martial arts that you can't get on your own. So I'm just trying to share my own evolution with you uh, so that you understand how I got to where I was. And uh, if you find some of this useful, let me know, okay? Stay well, do well, see you down the road. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. 
and uh, we're just going to move pretty quickly into this next sequence. And we're continuing our uh, review of how we evolve some of the self-defense te self techniques that we like to employ. And the sequence we're going to work, we're going to work on today involves an attacker uh, coming up to you and locking onto your collar from the rear. And this is like one of those nuisance kind of grabs. Uh, it might just be somebody coming at you on the street trying to shake you for some change or trying to intimidate you, but you need to know how to deal with it. So, uh, Sensei Chris, if you give me a hand. And you other folks, you can circle around here so you can see this, if you will, and you guys too. Okay, so the grab will be essentially a collar grab, or grab to the rear of collar. Okay, and this is sort of the grab itself. Now, as you look at it, a good collar grab, of course, and we've talked about this previously, we're not going to talk about it too much today, it involves locking the three hands, the three fingers uh, of the hand into whatever it is that you're grabbing. Okay, it gives you a good firm grip. If he pulls back on that, I've got control. Okay, now, uh, we'll switch sides here so you get a better view of this. He grabs. Okay, the quick moves first, the quick and clean moves. Right underneath is a great heel reflex. And it's a good, quick, clean hit underneath, straight on in. And uh, he'll, since Chris will tell you if you give a nod to the camera, it's, it's, a very, <laughs> it's a very painful technique. And what I like to do is I like to do it with a spear hand flat to the ground. Because it's a good, clean hit and it follows the arm right up. So you don't have to worry about finding the target. You can do it with your eyes closed in the dark. The beauty of this is one, two, and he's off. I'll show you a flip view of that. See, this, this takes his attention off the grab. So it's one, and you can see the reaction, of course. That's the reflex. Two. And I actually hit a second pressure point there. I didn't mean to hit it that hard. But these are pressure points, so you have to be careful you know, when you're working with your partner. Touch, touch. He releases. So as I do, and I disengage, he's here. And you have the counters that you choose in the aftermath. We're just talking about getting the technique off your body right now. Okay. That's, you know, one example. Uh, another quick move is straight in to the vital targets. And this assumes the guy's really about to do some serious damage to you. Throw a punch at me, sir. See it? Right in on the vital targets. Now, if you come around and bring the camera to the right side of my body, you can see how I've, how I've impacted his balance. See, as he's tilting away, and I'm st I've still got my balance. All I need to do to, to take him to the ground is overbalance him to the rear, and down he'll go. Okay, we're coming back to this side, sir, if you will. Okay, he grabs once again. A quick breaking technique. Here, the grab itself becomes a pinning technique. I drop my head on it, I'm leaning away from an incoming right punch if one was coming. Or I can check the right punch. So she throws her punch, I check it, and right here I'm leaning. The technique itself is I'm going to put a force at a 45 degree angle upward in this direction with an upper arm strike, essentially breaking his arm. And uh, release, grab, I step, hit. That's the technique. Notice that when I strike, I'm doing it with a live hand. That's the proper way to do it, to get maximum transfer of power into his arm. We've talked about that before. We're not going to, we're not going to revisit the live hand today. It's elsewhere in different videos, so you can find full explanations for it. Alternate view of this angle. He grabs. See the pin with the head. Pull your arm out. Okay? That's why you pin with the head. So you keep it there for a second. Now watch. I lean away. He tries to bring me back in, tries to reel the fish back in, and when he does, I fire. Got it? Again, this time I go to the side. I go outside the punch, and I fire. Thank you, sir. That's good technique. Don't hurt your partner when you practice it. Remember, we take care of each other. You gotta take care of your friends, too. Sir, come on in again. <clears throat> he grabs. Anytime somebody grabs you with a grab where one hand is on one side of the body, you have the option to take them down with a head technique. 
head technique, chin, back of head. You basically turn about, corkscrew them into the ground, down. Okay? And we've talked about finishing moves on the ground previously. We're not going to revisit those today. The idea is using the head to control the body. The body wants to go to wherever the head is going. Okay, so he grabs, and actually let's give you an alternate move. Come here right now. He grabs, I'm in, capture, and bring the camera around so you can get a good view of this. The control points, control technique, control technique, and the angle. And you have to be careful when you do this. We're doing this, you know, in a very slow and controlled way, and that's, if you're doing it under the, uh, in your own practice under the uh, guidance of your uh, instructor of choice, you have to remember always to exercise due care and caution as you execute this. Down. I wonder what that noise was. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, true entertainment. Okay. <laughs> Come right here, if you will, sir. Okay, he grabs. Uh, you've got the multiple hits. So he grabs, bring him down, bring him down. See it? Bring him down, go in. Anytime somebody grabs you with a hint that's uh, focusing on one side, you can break their balance right here. If you break their balance in close and if their head's along with it, you just bring it across. You can see the impact on his body. Go over here, sir, if you will. Uh, anytime you have an arm that's crossing over one side, you can turn about into it, roll the person into a hip throw. Uh, if I drop my knee to the ground, it'll accelerate his descent to the ground. And I've got him even in a control point area where I've got to control some of his points. I don't intend to hold the attacker in this position. I intend to escape. I'm not, you know, into a wrestling match with an attacker on the streets. It's too risky. So I bring him down. I move out. Okay, he's here. Anytime somebody grabs you, anytime you can break their balance like this, you can go chest to chest, bring them down to the ground. So I've got various points here of contact that I can use to neutralize the attack. That's probably enough to get you started. Can you think of any? What you want to add to I need it underneath. Oh, okay. You do that. Working underneath the power line. Strikes, strikes, gets my attention underneath, and fires. Now you can pull my hair, drop me backwards, and take me down. Finish me up on the ground. You can also grab. Now if I go underneath, I have to distract him with something so I don't get the, the hit by him. I can get this underneath. See it? Underneath. Here. Let's reverse. Stay right there. Go here. I disengage. Bring it to an arm bar. Take it down to the ground. See it? Bring the camera down. I want them to see that. <laughs> okay, as a finishing move. Sir, thank you. Yes, sir. So to Chris, say farewell to our friends. Farewell. And there you have it. Uh, we'll come back with another sequence before long. We just do these on the fly, and as you can tell, it's a continuous a action shot. We don't really edit these. Uh, you're amongst friends here, and we feel that we're amongst friends there, too. If we hit a foul ball or make a mistake, it doesn't pass any bad thing between us. Always remember, practice with your partners and respect them. Treat them as human beings and be safe. Stay well. Do well. <laughs>